when he reminds me of a taller, almost seven foot Westbrook, particularly when he has the ball in the open court. Similarities with three point shooting. <laughs> shots by Milwaukee and a lot of rhythm jumpers by, by Brooklyn. Straight panic. The Bucks have a straight panic. They, they get punched in the mouth, have no answers. They are in shock right now. And they should be embarrassed. Not only should they be embarrassed, they're like, yo, man, we, we're supposed to, we're, we're playing for the championship. They're not playing with energy, effort. Ever. It's like anybody who's open just shoot it. They have no game plan. They should just be flat out embarrassed. I mean, that that I, we got food. We thought there was going to be a good series, and it may turn to be. But these first two games, I, I was hoping that you were going to add that, and it may turn out. It may turn, but the first two games, if you tell me, like, yo, man, these guys don't have James Harden, and y'all are down 27 points, this is ridiculous, plain and simple. Points in the paint, by the way, in the first half. Dead even after Milwaukee had a huge advantage in game one. Rebounds are also even. Milwaukee had a huge advantage of that in game one. And again, threes, they're just five out of 14. 
They only did six in game one. And here's Kenny when he saw Shaq. No, that's a run. This is a run, Arnie. Look. Come on, Arnie. That's a run. That's oh, big, no. How can he run if he's sitting down? Because he saw me move. Oh, he was just oh, a man, man. No, that's a move. We both moved at the same time. Oh, we did. No, we did. No. Oh, no, it's not a that is his great quote. Here's the other night. Good luck, Chuck. That counts, man. I'll count it. You're watching the American Express halftime report. See all you old coach from my Detroit days. And your old colleague, Doug Collins, used to say you can't coach an effort. And right now, Brooklyn is just outworking the Bucks. The Bucks have not been in the game whatsoever. They're going to have to come out here in the second half and compete. They may not win, but you hope for a carryover in game three when they go to Milwaukee. But well, we thought they were tight. Right in the first quarter. I heard Charles mention Patty and Garrison. I think all those were a true fit, but let's see what happens here. Still a long way to go. And for once, I agree with Charles. Yes. Ball as we get underway, here's Harris from straight away for three. Yes. And I just have to admire the patience, the ball movement, and the tremendous read there by Kyle Tensity and remain disciplined on defense against this team and not leave Harris also. Joe Harris who had so long. Let's go downstairs. Here's Gary. Make sure that they are uh, staying to their principles and staying true to those principles. Get a rebound. The lamp played by Tucker. The lamp out of the ball. And I've been there, PJ Tucker. Not much you can do about that. Obviously, moving the feet there a little bit. Call for the offensive, excuse me, the, the traveling. Over with the jumper. Yes. And Marvel, this man is 
it's not even fair. Handles, great shooting, can finish. Brooklyn, they go hard, they go hard. Upcoming game two of our playoff second round doubleheader. Denver playing at Phoenix. This should be an attractive series with Robert Jokic, Devin Booker, Chris Paul. Takes his mind, Irving gets it to the corner. They swing it back to Irving. and be ready for their road performance in Game 3 in Milwaukee. That team that never had the continuity during the course of the season because of the injuries to Morant, Harden, and Irving. If they went 48-24, finished as the number two seed behind the 76ers. And winning their final five of the regular season, the Boston five they really started with the play. Kevin Durant, he set the tone, attacking. This man is 6'11". It handles. It's not fair. And he's playing like that. Watch out. 
All right, let's go downstairs to Jared Greenberg. Yeah. All right, I got Kevin Durant with me. Kevin, before the series, Steve Nash said that you guys have to overcome your newness. Have you accomplished that? No. I think we still got a long ways to go. Um, this is an amazing team on the other side who I know and over that whole floor, they won't come with it. So you have to too. And uh, we just did what we were supposed to do was one, two games at home. What do you think you've learned about yourself? I mean, we, uh, you know, we play hard, we play together, you know, the good things happen for us. Tomorrow will mark two years since you initially injured your calf. I know you worked your butt off to get to this point, but did you ever think you'd be this good? Is that a real question? Of course, yeah. what, what, what you want me to say to that? Of course, well, I mean, it, it's pretty impressive what you've been able to do. Thank you, I appreciate that. But I mean, that was two years ago. I'm looking forward to just getting up tomorrow, and going to practice, watching film, and and, uh, and seeing how we can get better. But you know, I appreciate that. But you know, that was that was too long ago. All right, well, I'll come up with some more real questions for you next time. Thanks, <laughs> Kevin. <No>. All, right. <laughs> All right, thanks to Kevin Grant and Jerry Greenberg. Kevin, 32 points, six assists. Four rebounds again, the, the final score, the Nets 125 and the Bucks 86 coming up, game one, Nuggets and Suns. Grant Hill, Jared Greenberg, and the rest of the crew. Bob Howard saying good night from Barclays and Brooklyn who are watching the NBA playoffs on TNT. We'll take a break and then it's the early of the guys in Atlanta. Wow. Uh, what, what do you say when a when a series is not living up to the hype? What, what's the term for that? A letdown? Banana and the tailpipe. We, oh, who are we looking for, Blake Griffin? Sizical? Sizical? More, uh, oh, more good energy from Blake tonight. More good uh, offense from Kevin Durant in that 32. I'm going to... Be a spoiler if you're just joining us. What's uh, what Brooklyn what, never trailed in this game? Thanks, oh, and a whole hot thing. Blocked it. by the freak. I mean, this is embarrassing, man. You got it. It's hell of a lot. I don't mind team losing that, but you got to compete, man. It's hard to be down 50 in a game. Yo, 36 defense like that, Chuck. 36, 19. No way. It's, it's hard to be down 50 points. They never trailed by 50, Chuck. It was 49. Okay, my bad. <laughs> oh, no good. Playoff game. In a playoff game, that's impossible. In a season game, come no, on, yeah. You know, a lot of stuff happened here, but in a playoff game, now, come on, man. That's ridiculous. <laughs> in a playoff game. With no James Harden. Oh, stop it, Chuck. I don't need James Harden. They got this guy right here doing this. Can you see? We, we don't have to figure that out right now. Milwaukee, Milwaukee finally got the 65, which is what Brooklyn had at halftime. Boy, the end of the third. Somebody I told you Kevin Durant was going to have 32 and Kyrie 22. And they were going to win by this many points. You said, I'll take that bet. I know you would take that. Yeah, you had lost that hundred thousand like just to four. There's another bet to lose. See you in the trip that you made work. You would have made work.